Hi, this is Mrs. Bratcher here, and we are going to learn how to use Photoshop. So we're going to mess around with some of the features. Choose any picture that you'd like. To open it, choose File, Open. We're going to add a filter, and I'm going to go to the Filter Gallery. Once in the Filter Gallery, they've got Artistic Effects, Brush Strokes you can choose from, Distort, Stretch, Stylize. Pick any effect that you'd like. You can also change the settings over here to change the appearance of the picture. Once you get one that you like, you can save it by going to File, Save As, or to save time, you can snip it. Grab the snipping tool, snip a picture of it, copy it, open up the PowerPoint I've given you, and paste in a few different samples to show me that you know how to use the filter tool. The next slide we're going to learn how to use the text tool and we want to change the color, the font, the shape. We want to do a text transformation and we want to add some effects on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the text tool that's over here on the left. Click and you can type any text that you'd like. To move it you can grab your move tool and you should be able to move it around. I'm going to go back to my text tool, select my name. At the top, this is where I can change the colors. You can't even click on the picture to try to get an exact color if you want. You can change the font right here. You can change the size. And here's the transform. You can choose a different shape grab my move tool and move this again. If you want to be able to see the squares around the edge so that way you can resize this manually just check off click on your move tool and check off show transform controls and that shows you those squares. You can even hover over the corners and rotate. Last thing I'm going to do is double click beside my layer. These are called layers. I'm going to double click on the right and I'm going to do a drop shadow, but you all can experiment with any of these options. You can change the color. You can even change where the drop shadow is showing up on your text. So there's my drop shadow. And then I'm going to snip this and add it into my copy, snip it, add it in here. There's proof that I did all those things. The next one is using the paintbrush tool. I'm going to get a new canvas, File, New, whatever size you'd like. I'm going to do a 500 by 500. I'm going to grab the brush tool over here on the left. You're going to choose four different brushes. I'm going to start with this brush and pick a color. And you can paint whatever you want. So I'm going to paint in some skies here. And this one looks kind of like a, a crown to me. And there's one. I'm going to add a new layer because if you mess up, you want to be able to delete or shut the eye on the layer that you messed up on. So I'm going to add a new layer. Go back up here and pick a different brush. Maybe some grass. Paint that. I'm going to add a new layer again. And you can even name these if you'd like. I need another brush. and a different color. And you can change the size of your brush up here. So there's three and I need one more and a different color. Maybe some birds flying. And go ahead and snip that and throw it into your presentation. Copy. Paste that in there. Voila. Removing a background. There's a couple ways to remove the background. 
The way that I like the best is the quick select tool. That's up here at the top, or W is the keyboard shortcut. I'm going to zoom in on my picture by hitting Control Plus. You can even change the size. And I'm just going to drag my cursor across this giraffe to try to select all the parts. If you accidentally select something that you don't want, hold down Alt and you can deselect it. All right, I've got the giraffe selected. And just like on Halloween, if you put a mask on, it's going to hide part of the picture. We can go over here in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll notice right here, this is the mask. It's the third button over. And when I click on that, the background becomes transparent. That's one way to get rid of a background. And if you're really particular, and you don't have to do this, this is um, advanced. I'm going to click the properties. And they have a mask edge button. Or you can even smooth out the edge using the smooth. And again, you don't have to do that. That's advanced. That's under this properties button. So that's one way to remove a background. Another way is just simply to grab the eraser. And you're going to want to make sure your background is unlocked. To unlock it, you just double click the lock. I would have to resize my eraser. And you can just manually start erasing. And this one's more tedious because you have to zoom in to make sure you've got it perfect. But it will get rid of the background. So that is getting rid of a background. Last thing you all want to do is take all the skills you've learned and put them together into a collage. So you're going to practice using layers. I'm going to get a new canvas. Buy all new. And then what you can do is drag pictures in here. I'm going to grab the move tool and if I want the giraffe, I'm going to drag the giraffe up to this and drag back down then let go. He's now in here. If you don't see the squares, grab your move tool and check off show transform controls. You can rotate. You can resize. Hold down shift if you don't want to distort your images. Uh, I still want you to use the text tool in here. And I'll add in a few more images to show you. So we're going to do File, Open. I opened a new image. Now I'm going to grab my Move tool. And then to, to move the image, I have to unlock it. So you see the lock over here? I'm going to double click the lock. Then just hit OK. Now the lock is gone. I can move the image. I'm going to drag it up to my untitled canvas. Drag back down, let go. And now have that. Now it's on top of the giraffe. If I want to move it behind the giraffe, I just go over here where my layers are and switch their places. You can even name the layers so that way you know what is what. To do that, I just double clicked. And you can rename them. And grab your move tool. And to make sure you've selected the right layer, that's what's going to move. So that can get frustrating because you're trying to move things and you have to select it first. And then when you're finished, you will want to save this image or for the purpose of this project, you can just snip it and paste it into here.